All right, guys, welcome back. So I thought I'd do a quick video, top five reasons why I'm choosing the MR920, basically a Gen 3 Glock clone as my carry. So number one is reliability. At this point, there's just virtually nothing else that has a track record of a Gen 3 Glock. And I realized this recently again when I was testing my Gen 5 Glock 20 and I had malfunctions with it and I'm still in the process of testing it, but that reminded me as well that when I got my first Glock Gen 5, which was a 34, I had to send it back to Glock because the magazines wouldn't stay seated. They would drop just enough. The receiver was off so that they would not feed the next round. So that was actually my first experience with a Gen 5 Glock. Fortunately, they fixed it and got it sorted out. But again, in my G20 videos, I've definitely heard from more and more people that have had issues with Gen 5s. Is it a deal breaker? No, but for me, the Gen 3 platform is just so reliable at this point that I'm going with a Gen 3, which is the Shadow Systems MR920. So number two is size. So you see here is a Glock 43. That's got the 1.05 width, which actually feels better to me in my hand. I have small to medium hands. But the fact remains in a stress inducing situation, a smaller platform is going to be more difficult to manipulate. Even if it's something like this Canik Mate MC9 that I can shoot 50 yards one handed and ring steel, it's still going to be more difficult for me to manipulate. even with this longer grip like the 43x there's just something about when you get that 1.2 inch width or so especially with the option of interchangeable back straps to custom fit your hand that really makes it a solid solid purchase when you really need it the most part b of size two is barrel length so you can see here you've got a 3.4 inch barrel on this 43x a lot of smaller platforms will be have between a 3.1 and a 3.7 inch barrel length. Fact remains that for nine millimeter, four inch barrel length is what is tested. And that's kind of the standard for nine millimeter. So testing on the ammo boxes, four inch is kind of the standard for nine millimeter. And it makes sense if you're gonna carry nine millimeter to optimize the performance of the round that you choose. So that's why I like this four inch barrel as well in the MR920. All right, number four reason for picking the MR920 is parts availability and interchangeability. So for Glock Gen 3, there's virtually sky's the limit. As you know, the patent expired in 2014. And ever since then, virtually every company, Glocks were already ubiquitous, but the Gen 3 in particular just became very, very plentiful. So there's more parts availability for this than virtually anything else out there. A uh, number four reason, the Shadow Systems platform, you can get an MR920, a DR920, XR920, and it's completely modular. So you can get, just like with a Glock 47 and Glock 19, you can get an MR920 and a DR920. And then you've got four different size configurations at your fingertips just having to buy two pistols. So I do like that as well. Um, I do like, I probably will be buying a DR920 at some time so that I can run the extended length grip on that. So that modularity is very nice. People think of SIGs and now Springfield Echelon with their fire control unit as being modular. But the reality is that even though Glock doesn't have a serialized trigger component, the fact is that they've been modular for a long time Oh, this isn't one of the reasons, but for me personally as well, I like the magazine compatibility between this and the pistol that I have on my belt. So this is really nice to have magazine compatibility, not have to have SIG or CZ or something else, just all Glock mags. This will run anything from 15, 17, 19 round mag. Uh, I think Magpul has 21 round mags. You can get extended base plates from Terran Tactical. Taylor Freelance, uh, the Glock Happy Stick, 33 round mag. So this will really run anything from 15 on up, uh, even <laughs> even a drum mag if you wanted, uh, even a drum mag if you wanted. So you do have a lot of uh, modularity and options in terms of capacity that you want to put into this as well, even though it is a carry pistol. 
And then finally, ease of maintenance. So some people don't think about this, but the Glock is a dry pistol, which means that it doesn't take very much lube at all, and it doesn't take very much cleaning. If you're not familiar with this yet, you should get a hold of a copy off online. Just search Glock Preventative Maintenance, and this is the way to clean and maintain your Glock. A lot of people over lube their Glocks, which leads to uh, dust building up in the oil and then it leads to carbon buildup and then failure this should be able to run three to five thousand rounds four to five thousand rounds without cleaning uh, it should be good to go but in case you do need to lube there's only i forget five or six points on the pistol that you actually have to lube and very very sparingly so keep in mind these are not 1911s uh, glocks are dry pistols so ease of maintenance is a, another huge factor in the extended reliability. And similar to the AR-15 that was released in 63 by Colt to the troops in Vietnam when they didn't know how to maintain them, they had a lot of failures. You see a lot of that with Glock owners too that don't know how to maintain their pistols. And then they blame the lack of reliability on the platform when it's really them not knowing how to maintain the pistol. So those are my top five reasons why I've chosen to EDC a Glock Gen 3 platform, the Shadow Systems MR920. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience has been. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description below for links to my Patreon, my Spreadshop, my Amazon storefront. Thanks for joining me in the journey. LW Road, out. <laughs>